So it's Thursday night. Um, I don't even know what time it is. Probably getting close to six. Second lawn of the day. Scouts over there mowing, popping wheelies and stuff. Check out this uh, box elder tree. Look at all the box elder bugs on it. Came around the corner and at first I always saw it was red and I was like, wow, somebody hit the tree with some paint or something or because it's right behind a school. There's the bands over there practicing. There's the Flushing High School. So, and then we got and then the house right here. But uh, anyways, I've seen box elder bugs on like walls and stuff, you know, but I've never quite seen a mass like that. That's pretty wild. So, yeah, you can see leaves, leaves are dropping. This, this house um, doesn't have many trees. We just have like, let me see, four, five, seven trees here in this back corner they're all like these cottonwood trees so besides um leaves they drop a lot of sticks so i gotta i gotta shut this off pick up a few sticks you know so the scout doesn't run them over and trash our blades although we have the regular x mark blades on there and those things are as tough as anything so they can take a they can take a beating so we picked up a a bagger power you know one of those back vacuum bagger systems that goes on the sky brand anyways it's the three bag system it's a three bag system my brother-in-law had bought it new um, for his regular tiger cat here let me wipe off my lens sorry about that he had wiped off he had bought it new, I think in 2013 or 14, with his uh, Tiger Cat, and uh, he only used it a couple times. He said he really didn't have much use for it after all. Cause he, he doesn't do a whole lot of mowing anymore. He's just got like three or four properties that he maintains and then his own. Um, so I ended up picking up, getting it off of him, you know, I bought it. Um, and uh, so we uh, rigged it up last weekend, got the bracket, br bracketry all changed around that it needed, it needed a couple tweaks. Luckily the brackets that come on it on the bagger system are uh, pretty adjustable. You know, they got like a bunch of different settings on them. So I was able to get it to fit this mower, no problem. Took about a half an hour of messing around with it. And uh, the only thing was is he, didn't have the pulley that goes on top of your uh, spindle, the spindle that's closest to us in the picture here, the one by the chute, that the, the drive pulley for the bagger system, the actual pulley on top, it bolts on top of the, um, on top of the pull, uh, spindle assembly on the mower. Anyways, long story short, he had a hard time getting it off, so he finally got it off a couple days ago, and uh, so I'll pick it up this weekend, and um, We'll put the bagger on, and because uh, starting Octo after October 1st, so Monday will be the October 2nd. Um, this area all around here, for the most part, um, got road curbside uh, lead pickup. So uh, he just ran right over that stick. Anyways, um, so we'll be able to just back things up and then just dump it at the road, which is good. Kind of wish I had a clamshell one for that purpose, but I don't. You know, it's what it's what he had, what I it was in our budget. So, clamshell one would be awesome for that purpose. But, um, but anyways, just dumping dumping the bags won't be that big of a deal, especially since we don't got to dump it in the truck or anything. You just got to dump it on the, at the curb. So, anyways, looking forward to using it. Try to earn some of that money back that I spent. So. Anyways, all right. This this is our last night of mowing for the week. We only have uh, well, this is our second one. We got one, maybe two more, and then uh, and we are done for the week. Done, son. So sorry about the footage there. Of course, as soon as I bring up the camera, Scout gets all up in the trees. He goes to that swing set pretty fast and one of these days he's going to catch that swing and it's going to do some damage to him or the mower I'm sure. Alright, have a good weekend everybody.